Hello, everybody. It's the Ash Heritor. And here we are again with our Crusader Kings 3 Manichaean campaign. We are, uh, back after dealing with some little vassal revolts, we'll call it that. Um, some of the Maturidi Muslim vassals who we conquered, previously part of the Samanid dynasty, now part of our dynasty, they do not look too favorably upon our young king, Kanak. Um, but we sorted them out. There's still a couple that we gotta worry about. Shazada Farad Faradzade. So he is the son of the previous Samanid king, or he may have actually been the Samanid king that we conquered. I don't know. Uh, in any case, he doesn't like us very much. I wonder why. Anyways, uh, before we get started, remember guys, like the video if you enjoy this. It helps me out a ton. You know, gotta appease that YouTube algorithm. Which is a mighty and potent force that a young channel like mine has to contend with. So, any likes, any comments, any of all, all of that, that all really helps me out. But anyways, let's uh, quit faffing about and get on here. So, I have some uh, notifications up here. Uh, I'm in line to inherit title. Yeah, wonderful. I don't want more titles at the moment. I'm very barely skimming on the amount of titles that I have. Alright, uh, so I found a um, potential uh, betrothal for myself with a uh, Samala Devi, who is part of the Pala. Right? Yeah, she was. That's what it said. Well, she's a genius. Which uh, sounds great to me. I could have sworn I may have somebody else, but... Alright, whatever. It's all okay. All right, we are rolling in money, so we should actually do something with that money. Um, we should build more castle holdings. Uh, more traders, huh? Uh, my court champion, Manglik, is scheming against Mindruk. Mindruk. Why are you doing this? Um, what is your, what's your deal? I don't know if I want to... Well, he's not that good of a champion. I'm going to throw him in jail. Sorry, mate. We need a new champion now. Who is better? You're definitely better. You are now my court champion. Abu Khorasani. Wonderful. I am... I've come of age. Alright. I got a Midas Touched. Wonderful. Alright. I am... Going to be quite good at what I do then. Uh, look at that. So that's that's a decent stat line for somebody who's only 16 years old. 18 stewardship and learning, pretty solid. I am temperate, just, and deceitful. Uh, unfortunately, I'm contrite, which doesn't mesh well with con uh, deceitful, but we'll, uh, we'll just have to work with that. Um, let's go straight into stewardship here. And yeah, let's get... Extra monthly income, right? Sounds good to me. Uh, so unfortunately we don't get any um, bonuses. Or we don't get any immediate skill points, but that is what it is. It's perfectly fine. And, um, yeah, my, uh, once my betrothed comes of age, she's only five years younger than me. Six years younger than me, I mean. Yeah, I definitely... Interesting, I... I think I clicked the wrong person, because I had married somebody else. But anyways, her stats are not bad. It's, uh, well. You know, it happens. Sometimes you marry the wrong person, right? <laughs> uh, the things you only say in Crusader Kings. <laughs> you, Mr. Shazada Farad, we're going to have a reckoning here pretty soon, I think. He's already uh, scheming against me elsewhere, so he wants the uh, Kingdom of Transoxiana, which is not going to be good. Uh, since I'm marrying early, I'm going to have a lot of sons, um, which is going to cause succession problems. But I have a solution, and that is we need to found an empire. Now, I want to expand south into Persia, but 
Doing that will require me to form the Persian Empire. And the Persian Empire is pretty damn hard to form because you need a lot of territory. Whereas I am far closer, because I already own much of the territory, to forming the Turan Empire, which would involve me expanding to the west rather than the south. We can always expand south later. So I think that is going to be the plan. Kanak has great ambitions. And he will see them fulfilled. Now... You're at war, so you're not going to accept the vassalage here. But what about, uh, you guys are also at war. You're at war with a whole lot of people. Ah, Khan Kotian of Zetisu. Oh yeah, Zetisu. That's, uh, all of this territory is Zetisu. Alright. I could invade Zetisu. I could conquer, well, the high chieftain of Zetisu. No, we don't want to do that. But what about the High Chieftain of uh, Muyunkum? These are, the, the problem is, is these are all like, these are tribal vassals. And, I mean, to be fair, anywhere we go is going to be tribal vassals. Except for to Khorezm. So we could invade Khorezm. They have a military strength similar to ours, though. Why is that? Because uh, they're allied to Khorasan. Khorasan is decently large. No, we're not going to do any of that just yet. Uh, what I do need to do is start building those damn castles. That I, okay, we are already building one. I could just straight up start building another one. Turn uh, Kashgar into a uh, powerful little holding here. Um, yeah, we, we could get these. Uh, we wouldn't be able to retain them, of course, but that's fine. Right? We'll get the vassal taxes. So hold on, we have another uh, we have another potential title for ourselves, which we could then use to uh, get another castle here. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Interesting, eh? Yeah. What do I do with all this money? Maybe I just spend it and upgrade uh, some of the infrastructure that we already do have, because there is quite a bit of that that we could upgrade. Like for example, our camel. Our camelry, I should say. Um, let's upgrade our camelries. We'll get us some more levies. Increase the potency of some of our cavalry. Um, here we can upgrade the wooden barracks to get more men-at-arms. And yeah, that's going to be all of our money as we proceed through those upgrades here. Let's bump the speed up to uh, speed 5. And uh, progress onward. So yeah, this is uh, this is my current heir, Gautus. Gautus is a bit of a problem. <laughs> I could claim his title, but I'm not going to do that. That doesn't benefit me at all. Uh, I do not want uh, Kashmir. All right. Uh, the way I'm acting these days, the secrecy and plotting in the shadows. This cannot be right. This cannot be just. Well, I will do what I must. If it has to be done, it should be done right. Uh, this will give me minus 20%, minus 20 to scheme power, but that's fine. I don't want to take any more stress, because I'm already stressed out. And we are, yeah, unfortunately, that is going to hamper our scheme here. And they have a 21% chance of moving him along. Yeah, we got, we got nobody here. Ah, ha, 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 what's this? Another war? Rally the troops. I, okay, this is going to be my excuse to get rid of this guy, if I can beat him, that is. Uh, which is no guarantee. He's, uh... Raise the entire army. Uh, this is, again, against Maturidis. So we can bring in the Holy Order. The Army of Light. And I'm going to raise up my own, uh... Force. Uh, move the army of light over here. This guy is a huge pain. We need to destroy him. And he's got... Uh, in fact, I'm... I'm of the opinion that I just want to clear out all of these vassals. I don't know if I'm going to be able to execute nearly as many of them as I want to execute, but I'm going to... I'm going to execute all of them that I can. I'm also going to kill all of them that I can in battle. 
which means I'm going to actively hunt armies, uh, even after we potentially have the war score for victory. I, I just want to... I want these people out of here, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Alright, you guys please hurry up. And then we're going to just move the entire army down to here. Um, so they're amassing... Yeah, they're going to start taking territory over here, but that's, that's fine. Um, Farad. You absolute shit weasel. I hate him. I really hate him. I'd be honored by such a gift. Well. If we can assassinate him, that'd be great. That would just immediately solve this problem. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen, but... You never know. Um, so let's actually move one of these armies here to Transoxiana, and I'm going to move the other one right to here into supporting range, just in case. And the Army of Light can move right up to here to Kojand to support. Uh, sorry, not Transoxiana. Um, Osrusana. Do I have allies I can call? No, of course not. I don't have any allies, ever. Can I make allies? Uh, I have prisoners that can be ransomed. You? Yeah, you're nobody. That's fine. Powerful vassals expect positions. I can call upon my ally. So I can. Alright. Yeah. Come help me out, mate. Alright. So we've taken uh, Tarek Pass. Uh, that's unfortunate that he betrayed me. I, I gave him that title. Alright, we got a, uh, a very large army down here, but that's alright. In fact, let's actually form up with these two forces in Kojand. You guys should merge. Can you merge? No. Um, Alright. You need a commander, mate. Um, Satrap. Yeah, why don't you command? What about you? You have a commander? You guys have a commander, and you guys have a commander. Great. So. Hold on. Wait a minute. You guys aren't part of this siege. <sighs> it's very annoying sometimes. It looked like it was our army that was sieging there, but I'm like, wait a minute, that's our land. Uh, no, this isn't the right moment here. I, I don't want to uh, expose that scheme just yet. Alright, so we've got 4,000 here. And we got 5,000 right here. Um, but this 5,000 is going to suffer some attrition, so I'm actually going to move them elsewhere. And um, this group of 4,000 can advance down here. And we should start actually moving. No, we need. We really need to have uh, supply supply lines. So we need to capture a castle. Let's capture this one. And you can capture that one. No, there's this one here. Let's capture that. Yeah. You capture this. Capture Samarkand. That'll be good. Samarkand's pretty important. They're going to take some of our territories, uh, but that's fine because I'm going to basically wreck their army as soon as... as soon as possible. <laughs> uh, the only problem is, is we are approaching winter, so... On second thought... Attacking uh, up here in the mountains during the winter doesn't strike me as a great idea. What the hell is going on here, guys? Who's fighting who? Please stop. <laughs> uh, that'll be in the drylands. This is drylands. Alright. Um, feudal taxes to me is increased. Yeah. We need more money. I may need to, uh, once again, cancel one of these castles, or cancel some of the upgrades that I'm making here. Um, might not be a bad idea if I do that right now. Um, this will refund. Oh no, only I can refund, huh? Right, I can refund this at least. Uh, cancel building construction, that'll give me the money back, won't it? We'll refund the cost. Great, all right. We have the money we need, again. To continue prosecuting this war. Alright, we have this territory.
territory, so we're going to move in and help with the Siege of Samarkand down here. I'm just going to keep my armies together, because they're now coming up with a whole lot of men. Uh, which is a bit dangerous. But I'm confident we can win here. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, interesting. Alright, 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 alright. This... Yeah, we're going to have to abandon this siege, because this is going to be a massive battle. All right, nice. We cut we cut their groups off a bit, and now we have both of our armies against both of their armies. This is going to be a huge pitched battle. Hell yeah, look at that. Brutal. Brutal victory. That's a way to start a war. <laughs> um, all right. Let's get, uh, I'm gonna go for Golden Obligations, we're gonna go for War Profiteer immediately, because we're gonna be fighting a lot this, uh, with this character, I think. We'll be doing a whole lot of wars. Alright, guys, good job. Good job with that. The second army here is going to move up to Samarkand. And I'm going to take this place here. And then we can continue the siege. Now that we're in spring, and we just uh, evened out the war score a little bit by just absolutely clobbering their armies. <laughs> I want to actually look at this. This was a slaughter at <laughs> Oh wow, we killed over 3,000 of them, only losing 1,000 of our own. Nice. I like it. <laughs> Dead traitors makes me very happy. Um, let's just butcher this little army. The more of them we can take out, the better. <laughs> Alright. Easy peasy. Um, if they want to form up against me, that's all well and fine. I'm more than happy to, uh... Yeah, he's gonna get a bad omen. Great. We're gonna lose some progress, but that's fine. I, I just want to kill him. Even if he survives this war, I want I want him dead. Um, he's just he's got to go. He's been an absolute thorn in my side from the beginning of this uh, from the beginning of my reign. Oh look at that! I've gotten myself a, a nice beard. It's a nice beard, but let's uh, get ourselves a slightly different beard. We're 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 young, all right. We're only seventeen. We'll have a short beard for now. <laughs> we gotta get a cloak. Alright, let's get the, uh, the shock cloak, the non-Islamic shock cloak. Sounds good. Um, we need, we need clothing here. Um, what clothing are we gonna get? Kinda want armor. He seems like the type that's gonna be wearing armor a lot. Since we are gonna be fighting quite a bit. Um, non-Islamic Iranian armor. Yeah, why not? Sounds good. Um, the headwear, we've got the Royal Zoroastrian crown, but actually, let's, let's get a different, <laughs> not, not that. This, this, uh, the full screen, uh, no, you know what, we're gonna keep that. This is fine. We've got armor on. It's good enough. Let's not waste too much time. Alright, so we've taken, um, some land of theirs. Unfortunately, not a super important piece of land, but it's, it's Samarkand. Would have expected that to be a bit more important. All right, but they're coming for us here. They've got five thousand men. Uh, are you guys gonna come up and attack me? I'd be okay with that. What you guys doing? I kind of feel like just moving my armies down and uh, destroying them, completely obliterating them. As soon as I have this, as soon as I have these two territories, I will do that exactly. Because I want to wipe them out. Alright, you go down there. We should have this in just a moment. I really just want to uh, take them out. What, who do we have in our dungeons right now? We've got a lot of prisoners. Um, anybody of importance? Any satraps? No, it doesn't look like there's any like high-ranking characters here. Um... The wives and the children, all of that, we can... We're not going to do anything to them. We are just, after all. Um, but if we can get some of these traitors, uh, I may just execute them. Uh, if it's not an act of tyranny. 
Uh, it'll probably be an act of tyranny, but we'll see what we can get away with. Alright, um, so they're moving up here, actually. I don't quite want to... No, it's fine. We'll hold here. And we will be able to uh, deal with this army in just a sec. Alright, we're going to start the siege there. What are you guys doing? Who are you? Why are you attacking me? Just some random enemy. Come on, guys. This was completely irrelevant. My glory is widely known. That is pretty solid, considering I'm still uh, I'm still a youngin. How old am I? Quite young. Check in just a sec here. Um, how old am I? I'm uh, I'm only 19. All right. Let's uh let's take out this army. We outnumber them again. Uh, they will probably get away from us, but why don't we cut them off? Actually. They're suffering attrition in the mountains here. Which is good for us. We will probably also suffer attrition. No, we still have supplies, which is great. But now we're going to fight them. We're going to fight them here in the mountains. Alright. Hopefully, we can win this. Seems like a pretty inconclusive... Ooh, ooh. Not good. We're actually losing a little. Camp followers. Uh, our... And Aramedic, uh Sozada Farad is at war. He's currently capped, camped in Kishim. And sources tell me that he will pick up more camp followers soon. The perfect opportunity. Yeah, great. A meal to die for. Bon appétit. Uh, this is only a 5% chance for killing him. That's not very good. Alright, uh, we are actually losing this battle. Yeah, we shouldn't have attacked them in the mountains. That was actually not a great idea. Okay. This is, uh, this is not good. That's going to hurt our war score quite a bit. Uh, and we lost some counselors, of course, from some unfortunate battles. Uh, oh boy, yeah, I'm reassigning my brother to be my spy master. He's a really good uh, marshal, but I'm going to put my master of horse there. And then we are going to have the next best person. Uh, I'm going to give this to this satrap, actually. He has inferior stats, but that'll at least put him on the council. All right, we didn't lose too many men. Yeah, this is just a defeat. We lost 2,000. We lost 700. Yeah, still not good. And that's going to pull us back quite a bit. We still are winning the war. Um, we can raise more. Nothing that can be done, unfortunate. Uh, let's move our forces up to there. Alright, this isn't a very large army, unfortunately. Um, note to self, don't fight them in the mountains anymore. And ransom some of these random prisoners. Actually, uh, no, I shouldn't be ransoming knights. Uh, I can demand payments of him. Yeah, why not? And you? You're a satrap? I don't want to use up my hook on a satrap, though. Not for mere money. Uh, what's the status of... Uh, how many knights do I have? Alright, we've got a few, but... This is okay. Um, since we've got the money, I feel like increasing... Increase the size 5 there, yeah. And let's get some more uh, onagers. Alright. So we've got our big army right here. Um, so if we go through there, we will... No, we won't take attrition. And if we're lucky, we can break one of their armies. But there's a good chance they'll remobilize and kind of uh, hold together. Which would be unfortunate. Honestly... Yeah. Let's just go that way. Uh, mental break, dark thoughts. I cannot hide my secrets any longer. Uh, that'll give me a disturbing confession. Um, or I could become a flagellant. Nah. Let's do disturbing confession for now. And we have a dynasty unlock. Great. What are we going to do? Um, honestly, House of Warriors and going down towards Private Army. Sounds good. Although, uh, I should be pausing here. 
Because Private Army grants House Guard men at arms. With that being said, I'm, I'm kind of going for the Cataphract men at arms. Uh, home Estates could be good. So they don't give us an extra domain limit. And all of this stuff is good. This is just going to equal a lot of mo lot more money. Let let's actually go with this. Mostly fair. Hunt and feast cost. This will increase our popular opinion as well. Less likely for peasant revolts. Because they don't really want to go any more down the uh, genetic uh, legacy thing. So that's It's good, for sure. Alright, great. It doesn't look like they're moving to reinforce this army, which means we'll catch them with their pants down. Okay, now they are, but hopefully we'll be able to kill enough of them, and we'll get, uh, right now we get War Profiteering. We'll give us more money. And we should be able to beat this little army before the other one reinforces. Excellent. Then we can <laughs> chomp the other one while we're here. Nope, stand right here, please. Thank you. Alright, we're beating that one too. Beating everybody. Great. Cool. Good victory. A nip in the air. I am visiting some of the peasants nearby to better gauge how things are going in my realm, or at least to pretend that I care. I ask one of them how they expect the next harvest to go. There's a nip in the air, the farmer says in his rustic dialect. Code won't be good for me, corrupts. Uh, what do we do? Pray to the Father of Greatness. Let's hope the cold won't be so bad. I'm just gonna pray to the Father of Greatness that nothing happens. Let's gain some piety. <laughs> These little events are, are, are pretty funny. Um, so we could reclaim some of these lands, but at the same time, I'm just going to beeline for their capitals. Uh, though, regardless of which way I go, I'm going to eat some attrition, which is unfortunate. But actually, it's probably better off if I hunt their armies. That, that is what I said I was going to do, so let, let's actually do it. I can leave a small force here to besiege the capital, and then I'm going to go hunt their army with the rest of my army. Prisoners can be ransomed. Um... You're a knight, I don't want to... Oh, no, you're not a knight. Yeah, sure, I'll ransom a kid. That's fine. Um, to Farad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sure, we can ransom children. Uh, you, we're going to keep. Okay, I'm going to hold this. I'm going to leave a little force here. Scheme discovered. Okay, he's discovered my scheme, that's fine. You know what, I'm gonna abandon the scheme. Uh, it doesn't seem like we're, we're really getting anywhere with this, so let's just abandon it. That, that way I don't get the, like, get accused of being a murderer again. That would be unfortunate. Um, who should we sway? We've got some satraps that need swaying. Uh, let's actually sway Gautus. He, uh, he's potentially dangerous. But, alright, um... So yeah, we're leaving our little force there, so let's go and try and wipe out the uh, remainder of their armies. I could reclaim these lands, but I, I don't really care. We're, we're winning the war, as is. The more damage we can do to their armies, the better. So that also means we might capture key individuals to help win the war and you know potentially if we capture some of these more dangerous uh, unruly vassals we can uh, get rid of them one way or another because that is what I want to do they've got to go they've been causing major problems like this territory has been problematic now twice they've been in two wars against me All right, they shouldn't be able to get away from me here Nice, we caught them. And we caught them while retreating. Okay, unfortunately we've got more uh, injured knights. We're going to have to invite new knights. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Uh, do we have a uh, court physician? We do not. Um, now, hold on. We had somebody in our court here that had uh, the physician trait, right? we could potentially appoint as a physician, if I recall correctly, your blade master. At least there was. All right, it doesn't look like there is any more, which is unfortunate. So let's uh, let's search for a physician. We've got the money to do so, so may as well. All right, we won another battle. Great. Um, so let's see, who, where, yeah, Bukhara is the... Uh, the place 
that uh, they're launching most of their revolts from. Um, yeah, I'm going to handle these issues personally. Uh, we'll get some meticulous management going on. Uh, court physician. All right. Uh, so let's see here. Is this you? No. This is you. So she's widely known in scholarly circles. She's only 47. She's got a learning of 17. Yeah. Although, Phila is quite experienced. She's got a learning of... S it's really not that much of a difference. Yeah, let's get Phila. She's a drunkard. But, that's okay. She's a drunkard and a zealot. That's fine. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a drunk zealous doctor, right? Perfectly okay. Uh, who's... I, I wish you could see who's leading this army. Uh, you can. Commander. That's the Shotsada. Alright, that's that's our enemy. If we can head him off, maybe we can capture him. Or kill him. That'd be even better. Let's chase him down. Uh, first, as we're chasing him down, I will... Can I leave a garrison force here? No, I can't. Why not? Or leave a siege force? Is this... Whatever. Whatever. Let's just try and catch him kill him. Alright, he's gonna be there. Yep, this is his army, still. He's still leading it. Yeah, he's running away now. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Where are you going? You think you're gonna escape me, huh? Let's leave a little siege force there. We can, uh, See what they can grab. We're about to win. All right, we've taken uh, we've taken that territory as well. We'll go for this one. Really want to capture him. I really want to capture him. So I will throw him into my dungeons, <laughs> and I might even torture him. <laughs> well, we got him. Uh, oh, we got his son. He doesn't hate us though. Unfortunately, we didn't get him. I know it would be logical. Well, no, we will we'll get him prisoner anyways. Let's just enforce the demands. All right, we've got everybody in prison. We can disband our armies. Fantastic, we won that war. Um, you in my prisons, mate. Move to the dungeon. Uh, alright, he's showing off a promising new recruit. He's not noble. Sesh, why not? You can convert. What is this? You're stuttering? I don't care, that's fine. Say okay, why don't you get yourself a, uh, a spouse? Let's find a, uh, somebody with, uh, good intrigue, maybe? Yeah, what about you? Get you into the court. Okay, well, people are already escaping our dungeons. This isn't good. It's like they have a revolving door or something. Alright, so this satrap here... You, uh... We can demand conversion. Blessed be the father of greatness. You also. We're demanding your conversion, too. You were demanding your conversion. All of you guys need to convert. This is how we fix the realm. Negotiate release for conversion and a hook. No, just uh, for conversion. Negotiate release for conversion. No, he doesn't want to. Alright, then you're going to stay in the dungeons. That's fine. Everybody who fought against me. Uh, you, however... Excellent. He led a criminal, or he led the revolt against me, so, uh, this will cause his, um, son to dislike me, which would be unfortunate. I could burn him at the stake. We're doing it. We burnt him at the stake. We burnt- alright, we got him. Alright. Wonderful. That- uh, that makes me feel real good. That makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. We torched him. Probably listened to his screams. It's just, it's wonderful. Music to my ears. Um, unfortunately, we didn't burn the rest of them, but we did at least convert them, so... You, we're just gonna, uh... Yeah, sure, for a favor, it's fine. You, you Nubian? 
<laughs> okay. Everybody, uh, convert. Oh man, we have so many of these goddamn things. Okay, yes, we know we have a faction created against us. That's wonderful. I love factions being made against us. You, no, uh, you're already. That's fine. You, convert. You, convert. Everybody needs to convert. I'm done with all this religious strife in my court. Alright. Um, Marzaban here is gonna convert. He doesn't want to. Okay. I mean, you, you went to war against me, so... You know, this will be it's a cause for tyranny. How do we... What do we do here? We can ransom him. Alright, fine. We'll ransom him. I know this just, you know, executing him created a new problem. Because now his son hates me. Ahmad. And he'll probably scheme against me and try and cause me problems. So that's fine. We'll just execute him too. Which, uh, he doesn't have any children to hate me. So, though there is this guy. He also hates me. Uh, you know, if he revolts, we'll execute him as well. It's fine. We'll just execute everyone who causes us problems. I like, I like this way of doing things. Um, you know, an eye for an eye makes the world blind. And, uh, it's fine if everybody else is blind. That means, uh, they'll have a much harder time of, uh, resisting my rule. <laughs> we may be a bit tyrannical. It's okay. Justice can be tyrannical. If we end up picking up the callous trait, I'm gonna be A-OK -okay with that. We are deceitful. And this is right, you know, it's it's the uh, the Stannis form of justice. You know, they they declared war against their Shah. This is what happens. <laughs> Maybe next time, don't declare war against your Shah, huh? Novel thought, right? All right, all the rest of you guys, uh, let's just get them out of here. All right, convert everyone who can. Uh, you can renounce your claims. You, uh, no, we'll, we'll uh... The fruit. Yeah, I guess. You don't want to convert ever. Uh, we'll, we'll do it for a hook then. You for conversion. Great. Well, that should get rid of everyone. And we have our marriage. At long last. I have a wife. What is her stats? Ooh. Elusive shadow. She's a witch. That's fine. I don't care. Um... She's an elusive shadow. Look at that intrigue stat. Damn. Alright, you're helping me with intrigue. Hell yes. <laughs> now we're now we're going solid. Okay. Now what can we do? So it's early in our reign. Going on a pilgrimage is not a bad idea. So let's let's go. Ooh, we can go all the way to Jerusalem. That'll basically eat all of our money. Um We'll be in debt for a little while, but that's fine. We're going to Jerusalem, everybody. Have our pilgrimage to the uh, the birthplace of the Jesus. Because, of course, uh, the Manichaeans do revere Jesus as one of the prophets, along with Mani, who is the latest prophet, which is, of course, where they get their name from, and Buddha and Zarathustra, uh, also known as Zoroaster. Um, uh, yeah, let's collect money. Uh, immediately get ourselves out of debt. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Uh, let's check out the factions right now. Uh, so we have uh, you. Yeah, you're the son of uh, <laughs> Farad, who we burnt at the stake. Will you convert? Actually, I don't care if you convert. I, I want to just get rid of you. Yeah, that'll be an act of tyranny. Let's not do that. How do we get rid of him? Do we murder him? Let's try and murder him. A little bit of murder never killed no one, right? Guys? Guys. Um, what about you? Bribe? Pay 50 to him to invite him in on the scheme? Why the hell not? Let's get some more people in. Get rid of them. Get rid of them all. Bribe him as well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, among my fellow pilgrims, there's a woman who preaches compassion and fellowship until she reaches the topics of heathens. One evening around the campfire, she loudly declares them to be abominable monsters in the eyes of true knowledge. Deviants and child murderers all. If 
People must avert their eyes when she looks at them. Uh, most people avert their eyes when she looks at them. Tonight, I was not quick enough. Do you agree, Oksha? Uh, they're not all bad. Let's get sympathy for heathens. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, we have a pretty big multicultural realm, so... I don't have a problem with the Maturidis or the Buddhists or all of them. It's just, you know, they're re rebelling against me, which is why I am forced to deal with them in the manner that I'm dealing with them. Yeah, I mean... What can I say? Pilgrimage. Sickness. This is no time to give up. We keep going. I don't care that I'm sick. Don't die. That would be unfortunate. Uh, we have a, a court physician here, though, so we can... We can get over our illness. Use the best treatment available for 50 gold. Yeah. I'm the king. The Shah of three realms. I'm not gonna let myself, uh... Die of some silly, uh... Sickness. It better not be COVID. Alright, I've walked the holy path. I'm now a pilgrim. And I might even become a wise man. Oh, damn. Look at all that piety. Um, knowledge still eludes me. Alright, I'm not a wise man, unfortunately. But I'm a pilgrim. And I'm no longer ill. All of this is good. Sweet. More monthly piety. Now, uh, let's see here. A whole lot of people are now Manichaean because we beat them in war and converted them. <laughs> uh, what about you? You might accept. Unfortunately, I don't have hooks over anybody just yet. Um, you're obviously not going to accept, but we're going to have to kill you. So, what about you? You are Manichaean. Why don't you like me? Okay. We need to start preparing for our expansion. Also, um, that is of great importance. Um, Alright, we got some minor titles that we can assign here. Uh, let's assign some... Somebody with good learning. Yeah, to the satrap here. That's fine. Uh, any court dwarfs in our... No? Alright. Any uh, satraps here that we could... What about satraps that we can make as our tax collectors? Is that one. I could do that. Why the hell not? Fire this uh, little Marzaban. He's, he's not even good. Um, we got a satrap here. We've got my brother here as my spy master. He doesn't have the best intrigue, but... Look at that. Damn. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'm moving my brother. You're going here. All right, and you are going to be my spy master. <laughs> Jesus, look at his stats. All right, we're swaying him immediately. <laughs> look at that, 32 intrigue. <laughs> okay. All right, it's good to be home. I've made it back from Jerusalem. I'll quickly check the time. All right, I've got about another 15 minutes. All right, we're not going to be doing any expansions this episode, but hey, we, uh, we dealt with the rival. Technically, he wasn't a rival. He should have been. But, uh, we dealt with him. Uh, he's a little bit crispier now than he was before. Which is all good in my book. Um, it is my domain. I can use extort subjects. No, we're going to get the vassal tax contribution for even more money. Look at that. 21.8. Chigaze. What's, what's going on here? I could... This little hole in my realm makes me... Makes me upset. Or maybe, maybe, just maybe. No, they won't offer vassalage because they're at war. We'll, we'll give them the chance to submit willingly. What about you? Are you still at war? You're not anymore. Why don't you want to accept? Psh. Foolishness. Absolute foolishness. Where is this? The High Chieftain of Bashkiria all the way the hell up there? What? That's nothing. We're going to take this de jure. Right, thank you. This will be my land in just a moment. All right. Uh, unfortunately, we are invading in the winter, but it'll take some time for us to levy up our armies, anyways. So um, let's put a rally point right here. We should also put some more rally points around. Uh, let's put one there and uh, one here in the south in Kabul. 
But alright, so we got our uh, rally point right here. We'll see if we, uh... Hi, Chieftain Koza. Yeah, that's fine. You do whatever the hell you want, guys. Let's, uh, destroy this army. Do they have a harsh winter? Can't tell. What does it say? Doesn't say a damn thing. Well, I guess we just invade. I probably don't need this army. We can't disband it just yet, but that's fine. We'll take this realm. Alright. Sweet. Victory. We didn't kill all that many of them. Uh, paying for the war. Raise additional taxes from the peasants. No, things will work out in the end. Yeah, let's lose some stress. We're, we're losing money, but we'll, we'll have enough. And uh, let's try and disband this. Uh, my counselor died. God damn it. Right when I appointed a new steward, he died. Alright. Um, I'm going to assign this guy as my tax collector. He's a nobody, but... Might be we give we give out titles at some point. The Aswaran and peasants. Uh, with the recent upset among peasants of Bukhara, one of my agents has presented a unique suggestion for taking care of Satrap Ahmad. Uh, with coin in the right pockets and agitators on every corner, we could stage an entire riot while the satrap is passing through the streets. Time for some good old-fashioned rabble-rousing. Hell yeah. Let's, let's try and... Let's make it happen. Let's kill him. Aswaran and the peasants. Satrap Az Ahmad has survived uh, the attack of the peasant horde. My agitators successfully riled them up, but when the mob started rioting, Ahmad's soldiers cut them down. The survivors fled in terror as satrap, as the satrap made his way through, back to the castle. Many peasants were hanged, but thankfully so were my agitators, which means the riot cannot be traced back to me. Wonderful. I'm so glad my supporters were hanged. Um, if at first you don't succeed, try again. Uh, the incomp- this incompetence is why re- we, why we rule and the peasants do not. Uh, no. If at first you don't succeed, we try again. Yeah, we're gonna try again. We gotta get rid of this guy. He's- he's a huge problem. Alright, uh, I think we can disband this force now, All right? Yes. Great. We'll take this little territory and then we'll win the war. Which will be fine. It's a teeny little territory, but hey, uh, we need... 60-something, I think we need 61 de jure territories in order to found the Turan Empire. Uh, which we are gonna do. That's gonna be the goal for this character. He'll be the first emperor. Emperor Kanak. Kanak's a cool name. Gotta admit. I wish I was named Kanak. Alas, I am only Miles, named after a unit of measurement. Sad. It's kilometers, actually, here in Europe. Alright, we have their territory. We'll enforce the demands. Thank you. We rule now. Alright, I think he kept his land. He did, of course. Uh, we'll make him convert. Uh, no, I guess we won't. Let's see, is there any vassals that we need to transfer? No, doesn't look like it. What about granting titles? No, I don't want to grant any titles. That's boring. Um, but we have a new castle holding, I think. Right? We do. So, what can we build in this new castle holding? Well, we can build another camelry to get more knights. We don't have the money for that right now, though. We will soon. But, victory. Easy war. Expand the realm. We're gonna have to deal with Chorezm at some point, and we got to Rem Remsko. Not sure how that's pronounced. Who are you allied with? Nothing, basically. It's the two of you are allied together. Um, I mean, I could just conquer them. It'd be easy. Very easy conquests. And it would... Psh, why the hell not? We gotta do it. We gotta take these lands. Let's just raise the men-at-arms. We don't need the entire army. Speaking of the men-at-arms, we should... Uh, increase this... Though I don't want to increase the size of that, because we're still researching uh, the cataphracts. Which, I want cataphracts. 
Uh, I would rather have who in my pocket? Azad is fiddling nervously with his sleeve as I open the door to his chambers. What is he doing here at this hour? My deepest apologies, but I must speak to you in private. I have discovered something very interesting. Azad has discovered Marzaban Tugor. The secret of Marzaban Tugor is he is willing to share it with me if I let him off the hook. I swear after this. Okay, this will give me a... Uh, this is a direct vassal of mine. Yeah. Why the hell not? So we could get a hook on him. Look at me stress. But hey, he's the Marsban of Kumkul. Alright. He's got a secret lover. Uh, where's Kumkul? Kumkul is down here, right? No. There it is. Why is this under my... Why is this under my direct control? Don't you belong to, like, a local satrap or something? And this is part of the satrapy of Pamir. Oh, we don't own Pamir. We did. Ah, that's what happened. Well, I mean, let's modify the feudal contract. Get high vassal taxes. We can use the hook. Done. <laughs> Problem solved. Uh, who else do we have hooks on, actually? We should have hooks on certain vassals, right? Hooks and secrets. You're a satrap. Ooh, even better. So we could... Why can't we modify? You're satrap payam of... Of what? Osrushana. Osrushana. Hmm. Why can't I modify your vassal contract? Oh, because you're a clan. Of course. Um... Blackmail? No, we already blackmailed him. And her? We blackmail her, too. Yeah, we blackmail everyone. I love blackmail. Alright. Um, and you? Nasuzade of Kutal? Nah, we don't need... I mean, he's also a clan title, so... Alright, we, we have uh, got problems here again. I'm not going to do confession. I could study the art of scheming. Refine my hostile schemes. Absolutely. Let's get better at scheming. I love scheming. Alright, how's our army going? Uh, this is only 830. I was expecting a little bit larger of an army. This is now a little bit more. What do they have? It will be my pleasure. I hereby invite you to a grand feast. No, hell no, I'm not going to your feast. You're probably trying to kill me. Uh, I guess we just raise the whole damn thing. Fine. Wish you could... Time for some good old-fashioned mob rule. Uh, they Aswaran and the peasants? Alright, we get him killed in another peasant revolt. He's having some peasant problems, apparently. Alright, we'll disband these armies. Don't need all of them. Alright. Never underestimate the power of the mob. Alright, he is dead. Ahmad has been lynched. Wonderful. That makes me happy. Now there's you in power. You don't like me either. You're just a child, though, so I'm not going to assassinate you. In fact, I'm going to demand your conversion. He may have a hook over me. Uh, no, I'm not going to bargain for his soul. That's uh, unfortunate. Well, that's uh, a shame. His name is Mani. What do we do? I'm going to offer a ward. You know what? We're going to convert his faith. We can't convert his faith. That's unfortunate. What if we send him money first? It's a lot of money, but this may make it worth it. We can solve this problem once and for all. Yeah. That'll do it. Can we convert his culture as well? Nah, doesn't matter. It's just the faith. That's what's important. Nice. So we can uh, raise him. We'll convert him that way. Um, hold on. We aren't even at war. What the hell? <laughs> right. <laughs> I was going to invade, but I didn't. All right. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> All right. I think this is a, a good enough for, for this session. Um, we're a bit stressed out, but hey, we've secured things. We'll soon have uh, Bukhara under our control because uh, we are raising Satrap money here. 
He is the uh, the son of Farad. Uh, we're not going to tell him about that we burnt his father at the stake. This may be another instance, like when uh, Khazra the Second raised the uh, daughter of the Countess of or the Count of Toxun, who we then murdered, and then as soon as she came of age, she hated us. This may end up doing the same thing. Um, in fact, let me look here. Uh, yeah, executed family minus 47. <laughs> look, it's not that big of a deal, alright? I just burnt him at the stake. <laughs> well, if he hates us, if he grows up and hates us, uh, we'll just have to burn him at the stake, too. Uh, yeah. What can I say? It's what you gotta do. Alright, guys. Uh, this has been an exciting episode. Like it if you enjoyed it. And, uh, I'll catch you guys later.